The Goat Man may not be as well known as other cryptid creatures, but he still has a devoted following and is often the subject of urban legends and creepypastas. And with all these creatures, he has a horrific backstory. It's unclear whether more than one Goat Man exists, as he has been associated within at least three areas in the US, Louisiana, Maryland, and Texas. In this video, we will look at three of these Goat Man legends and look into the validity of some of the sightings. The legendary Maryland Goatman is a half-goat, half-human creature said to have the head and hindquarters of a goat and the body of a human. And some people are convinced he is the physical manifestation of the devil. It's claimed he has terrorized the Fletchertown Road area located just outside the city limits of Bowie in Prince George's County for decades. And although he has been spotted elsewhere in the area, the road seems to be his main haunt. So who is this goat man? Well, like with all cryptid creatures, there is more than one explanation. But the most popular is that the Maryland goat man is a monster that was once a scientist called Stephen Fletcher, who worked in the nearby Beltsville Agricultural Research Center. Fletcher was working on an ill-fated experiment where he was mixing the DNA of his assistant with the DNA of a goat. But something went terribly wrong and the goat man was created. Those who witnessed him describe an axe-wielding goat-humanoid hybrid with horns and cloven hooves who roams the roads of the nearby research facility, attacking passing cars and teenagers with an axe. Another take on the goat man's origins is that he is the spirit of a lonely, angry goat herder who went berserk after finding his beloved goat dead due to teens harassing them. And he takes revenge by attacking teen lovers when they stop in their cars along Fletchertown Road. The rumors about the goat man begin back in 1957 when he was first sighted by a local man. Then he came to prominence again in 1962 when 14 hikers were murdered and the goat man became the number one suspect. In fact, any time an unresolved disappearance or murder occurs in the area, people believe that the goat man was involved. Over the years, there have been regular sightings that give similar descriptions of the creature. But perhaps the most well-known one occurred in 1971, when the death of a dog was blamed on goat man by its owner and local residents. This was also when the media picked up on it and an article in the Bowie-based Prince George's County News headlined, Residents Fear Goat Man Lives, Dog Found Decapitated in Old Bowie. The article described the Edward family search for their missing puppy named Ginger. Sadly, days later, Ginger was found near Fletcher Town Road, dead and headless. The article connected the deceased dog with the goat man saying that a group of teenage girls that included Edward's 16-year-old daughter, April, had heard strange noises and seen a large creature on the night the dog had disappeared. It also reported sightings of an animal-like creature that walked on its hind legs were increasing along Fletchertown Road. After the incident, things went a bit quiet. However, in 2015, there was a cluster of sightings causing hashtag Goatman to trend on Twitter. Nowadays, searching for the monster has become a local teen obsession, and it's not unusual for youths to gather for Goatman parties on Fletchertown Road. In an update to the story, Goatman expert Mark Obsasnik recently tracked down the Edwards family and John Hayden, one of the men who found Ginger. Hayden told Mark he and the others had seen an animal the night before. He described it as about six feet tall, hairy, and walking on two feet. Hayden also noted that it made a high-pitched sound like a squeal. Mark was also able to speak with April Edwards, Ginger's owner. She is quoted as saying, People came here and called it folklore, and the papers made us out to be ignorant hillbillies who didn't know any better. But what I saw was real, and I know I'm not crazy. Whatever it was, I believe it killed my dog. Whether the Goat Man of Maryland is a figment of people's imagination, or as a real and as of yet unidentified creature similar to Bigfoot, it's hard to say. However, it seems the people who claim to have seen him are convinced he exists. The Pope Lick Monster 
Legend states that beneath a railroad trestle bridge over Popelick Creek in the Fisherville neighborhood of Louisville, Kentucky, lives a goat man. He is known locally as the Popelick Monster and is allegedly to be a human-goat hybrid with the grotesquely deformed body of a man and the head of a goat. The powerful looking creature has fur-covered goat legs with a pale skinned face, a protruding nose and wide set eyes with short sharp horns protruding from its forehead and long greasy hair that matches the color of the fur on its legs. According to different reports, the goat man lures his victims onto the train tracks by either hypnosis or some sort of irresistible siren voice. Once they reach the tracks, he watches them as they are run down by passing locomotives. In other accounts, the goat man drops down from within the trestles of the bridge onto passing cars, passing beneath it, causing them to crash. Other versions tell that the goat man attacks his victims with a blood-stained axe, and that the very sight of the creature is so unsettling that those who see it while walking across the high trestle are driven to leap off. The origins of the Popelick monster legend are unknown, but many believe the creature is a human-goat hybrid that was a circus freak who vowed revenge after being mistreated. In another version, it is said the monster escaped after a train derailed on the trestle and is linked to the ghost train, which has also been sighted on the bridge. Others believe the monster is the twisted reincarnated form of a farmer who sacrificed goats in exchange for satanic powers. Of course, these are all just legends. However, the truth is that there have been a number of deaths indirectly attributed to the Pope Lick monster of people who have scaled the eight-foot fence surrounding the bridge and climbed its trestles in search of the monster in what is known as legend tripping. But as the trains rattle past, they have either been struck by the locomotives or have fallen to their deaths whilst climbing the bridge. It seems legend trippers are under their impression the aging bridge is abandoned and no longer used. In reality, the bridge carries a major rail link into Louisville and heavy freight trains cross the bridge several times daily. So it's easy for someone to get caught out when an oncoming train races towards them. The problem has gotten so bad that Norfolk Southern Railway urged people not to climb the trestle, saying if caught, they would be arrested. The monster was also the subject of a 1988 film called The Legend of the Popelick Monster. The 16-minute film premiered on December 29, 1988, and most of the film was shot at the Popelick trestle, but scenes showing the character on top of the trestle were shot at another safer location. The film upset railway officials as they thought it would encourage teenagers to visit the area, and they found one scene in particular dangerously misleading. The scene showed the main character, a high school student, narrowly escaping an approaching train by hanging off the side of the trestle. In reality, few people would have the strength to hang on for the five to seven minutes it would take for a long train to clear the 772 foot trestle in addition, the vibrations from the train are so strong that the ground beneath the trestle shakes as the train passes. Officials were so concerned that the film would add to the death toll, they issued a statement that was read out at the premiere, which warned of the dangers. But sadly, some haven't heeded the warnings, and in 1994, a man was killed by a train after his bike overturned on the trestle, trapping him on the track. A few years later in 2000, a 19-year-old fell to his death after encountering a train. And on April 23, 2016, a 26-year-old tourist from Ohio died after being hit by a train while searching for the monster. The latest death was on May 26, 2019, when Savannah Bright was pronounced dead at the scene after she and another teenage girl were on the train tracks near Popelick Trestle in search of the monster. <laughs> Texas Goatman. Now we come to perhaps the most well-known Goatman legend, the Texas Goatman that lives in or around the old Alton Bridge. The bridge, also known as Goatman's Bridge, is a historic iron truss bridge built in 1884 that connects the cities of Denton and Copper Canyon. It originally carried horses and later cars over Hickory Creek, and the heavily used bridge remains in constant use until 2001 when a sturdier bridge was built close by, and traffic was diverted to the new bridge. 
With vehicle traffic removed, the bridge became a vital pedestrian link between the Elm Fork and Pilot Knoll hiking and horse trails. It also became a popular location for photographers seeking the legendary Goatman. The Goatman is purportedly the ghost of black goat farmer and entrepreneur Oscar Washburn, who moved with his family to a residence just north of the bridge in the 1930s. Oscar became known locally as a dependable and honest businessman and was renowned for his quality meat, milk, cheeses and hides, and the North Texans endearingly nicknamed him the Goatman. However, in the 1930s, the success of a black man was still unwelcome to many, and Klansmen in the local government grew angry after he displayed a sign on Alton Bridge saying this way to the Goatmans. On a dark night in 1938, a lynch mob of Kluxers stormed Washburn's home and dragged the screaming Goatman to a noose waiting on the bridge. They tightened the rope around Oscar's neck, then mercilessly threw him over the side. The attackers then stumbled down to the river's edge to confirm the victim was dead, but were shocked to find only an empty noose dangling over the undisturbed waters. The panicked men frantically searched the area, but couldn't find no sign of Oscar, so headed to his cabin and set it on fire with the Goatman's family screaming inside. Oscar was never seen again, and his body was never recovered, but has claimed his vengeful spirit has haunted the old Alton Bridge ever since. For years, locals have warned that if you cross the bridge at night without headlights, you will be met on the other side by the goat man, either wearing the severed head of a goat or carrying goat heads in his hands. Others have reported seeing ghostly figures and strange lights in the surrounding woods, as well as reports of visitors being touched, grabbed and having rocks thrown at them, possibly by the goat man's murdered family. Others who have crossed the bridge have heard splashing in the creek directly below, followed by unsettling laughter, or seen a ghostly man herding his goats over the bridge. Local legend says, if you knock on the trestles of the bridge three times at midnight, or honk your car horn three times, you risk summonizing the vengeful goat man, and all around you will smell the stench of decaying flesh. Over the years, the unexplained vanishing and creepy experiences on the bridge have promoted numerous investigations by paranormal groups, of course, with most legends, there is another version of how the Goatman came to haunt the old Alton Bridge, and this one is even more gruesome. It predates the bridge and dates back to 1860s Texas, when some Copper Canyon cowboys lynched and hung a slave goat herder named Jack Kendall from a tall creekside tree near where the bridge now stands. But their haste and incompetence separated the slave's head from his body and they watched in horror as the headless body raised itself from the creek bed mud, animated by voodoo, and ripped off the head of a nearby goat to replace his own, still dangling in the noose. Ever since, he has haunted the area where the bridge was subsequently built. Nowadays, the old Alton Bridge is in the list of places to visit on a creepy tour of Dallas, and we think this one is by far the creepiest goat man out there. We're interested to know in the comments if any of you have experienced this firsthand.